All right, so we're going to look at lessons four and five. We're talking about the grand staff. In the last lesson, we learned about the treble and the bass clef. And now what we're going to do is put those two together so that we can represent most of the notes uh, on the keyboard here. And so here's what it looks like. Let's try that again. That's better. So what I've drawn is, and I'm going to check my, yeah. What I've drawn is a treble clef and a bass clef. And what I want to show you is how these things are connected. They've got a great picture of this on page six in the book. Uh, what we see are the notes from the treble clef. And you might remember that that bottom line is an E for every good boy does fine. You might also remember that the top line of the bass clef is an A, all right? <clears throat> good boys do fine always. So this is an A in the bass clef, and this is an E in the treble clef. So I want to show you what happens when we kind of come together with these two different sets of, of clefs here. If I go down in the treble clef, then the note that comes before D, or sorry, before E, is the note D. If I were to go up in the bass clef, the next note after A would be B. Well, what happens if you extend beyond the boundaries of these staffs? Well, you have to add a line. We have five lines, five lines, but if I want to go lower than a D on the treble clef, I actually have to create a line, which we call a ledger line, and then I can draw a note on it. And we're still going down the alphabet, so the, what would come before D? Well, it would be a C. And if you look at the bass clef, if I extend beyond the boundaries of the bass clef and I drew a line, and I'll just be really deliberate, put this in the middle. One ledger line above the bass clef would be the note C. So now we can see what's going on. We actually connect the two staves, the treble clef, the bass clef, come together at the note middle C. And I will show this to you on the piano. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the staff, and here's what it looks like on the piano. Here's an A in the bass clef top line. Here is an E in the treble clef bottom line. So when they come together, they end up on that C, which is basically the middle of my keyboard. So we call it middle C. And that's where it is on the keyboard. And this is where it is in the grand staff. All right, so that's middle C. And now with the two staves kind of bracketed together, we create this grand staff. And now we've got quite a bit of notes that we can, we can notate all in this territory. And of course, with ledger lines, we can even go beyond, right? So on page seven, they will actually give us uh, a look at some more ledger lines. And they go up above the treble clef. You know, that note would be an A. This note is a B. And you can actually draw two ledger lines, and this would be a C. So I'm not going to go too crazy with um, ledger lines here in the class, but this is how it works, you know, if you're curious. This is kind of what it looks like. Some instruments have to read a lot of ledger lines, like the flute oftentimes plays a lot of really high parts, and they kind of live up there. So they're used to reading those ledger lines above the treble clef. Likewise, some low instruments will extend below the bass clef, and so they read a lot of legend lines down below. So try the exercises on the, on the bottom of pages six and seven. Basically, you're just identifying notes on the staff. So 
Don't forget what clef you're in, treble or bass clef. Try to use those the mnemonic devices. And when you have ledger lines, if you just have to go forward or backward in the alphabet to, to figure out where it is, uh, do whatever you have to do to, to figure it out. And I will tell you, this is a quiz that we will do where basically I'll give you a note on a staff with either the treble or the bass clef, and I'll ask you to identify the note. Is it A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So practice identifying notes on the staff on the bottom of page seven. Uh, you can practice identifying notes with ledger lines. Again, I'm not going to go too crazy with ledger lines, but um, those are the pages where you can practice those two things. Okay, uh, cool. I think I've explained it. Um, you can always come at me with questions either on the discussion forum or my office hours or through email. Cool. Hope this is helping.